Good morning, children. In last class, we started lesson number one. The universe lesson we started. So today we continue the lesson. So what we studied in last class, children? Lesson number one, the universe. So what is universe? What is universe means? Galaxies and innumerable comets, asteroids, the space rocks together form the universe. What is universe means? Galaxies. The universe is made up of huge collection of stars and planets. What is universe? The huge collection of stars and planets is called universe. The huge collection of stars and planets. Stars and planets is called universe. In last class we studied about universe. What is there on the earth? When we can see the stars, we can see the stars at the night time. Where we live, we are living on the earth. Earth is called a planet. There are many more suns and stars other than that. What we can see with our eyes? What we can see on the earth? We can see so many things. We can see in the morning, sun, clouds like this. At the evening time, at the night time, we can see the moon, stars like that. We can see so many things. So, in that, a collection of stars and planets that are held together by gravity is called galaxy. In last class, we studied about galaxy also. A collection of What is galaxy children? A collection of stars and planets. These are held by which? That are held by together by gravity. That are held together by gravity. So in last class we learned about galaxy. What is galaxy? A collection of stars. Collection of stars in the sky. So that one we call star. A collection of stars and planets that are held together by called gravity. So this is called galaxy. So which is our galaxy? In which galaxy is there our planet? Our solar system. In Milky Way galaxy. Milky Way galaxy in our solar system. So, in which galaxy is this? Our solar system in Milky Way galaxy. Understood, children? Next, there are thousands of galaxies in exist in space. The galaxy that contains our solar system is called the Milky Way. Our Earth is a part of this galaxy, also called as Akasha Ganga. So, what we call this one? Akasha Ganga. <coughs> Next, comets and asteroids. Comets means what? Celestial snowball of frozen gases. Asteroids means small rocky objects. Why do the sky look blue? Why does the sky look blue? Sunlight reaches Earth's atmosphere and is scattered in all directions due to the presence of gases and particles in the air. Why it looks blue? Due to the when, when the sunlight, when this sunlight reaches the sea, when these rays reach us, the Earth's surface, so there is gas molecules. So these are scattered the presence, due to the presence of gas and particles in the air, blue light is scattered more than other colors. So when these rays scattered in all directions, Because the presence of gas molecules, more blue color is scattered in all directions. So we can see the sky 
is also a planet no why is the living thing can exist here <coughs> because only the earth has air and water so the living things can exist here so all living things need air for breathe and water no so only on the earth there is water and air so the life so the living things can survive the life on the earth very easily understood us solar system which are what is there in the solar system sun planet satellite and asteroids are all revolve around in the sun sun is in the center so these all revolve around the sun so the solar system means the planets are also revolve around with the sun which are the planets mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune these all revolve around the sun in order only so sun is in the middle so in that eight planets in which planets can living thing exist living things can exist in the planet earth why because earth has air and water so the life means living things can exist by from the earth understood children next is planets
Next one is the Earth. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the fifth largest planet in the solar system. It has air, water, soil and suitable conditions to support life. Earth is a rocky terrestrial planet. It has mountains, valleys, plains, etc. It moves around itself by moving around the Sun. The movement of the Earth around itself from the west to east is called rotation. So what is your know the earth is a planet. So what is earth? Earth is a planet in our solar system. In solar system, earth is a third place. First in first place there is a Mercury, after Mercury Venus is there, after Venus earth is in the third place. So this is the fifth largest planet. It is the fifth largest planet. It is the fifth largest planet children. Earth is the fifth largest planet. So I said earth is in the earth only the living things can live because air sorry earth has air and water so it has so the living things can exist here. So <coughs> Earth is a rocky terrestrial planet. What is there on the earth? There is a mountain, valleys, plain, etc. We can see on the earth now. There is so many things on the earth. For example, we can see mountains, valleys, lakes, rivers, seas, oceans, etc. We can see on the earth. It moves around itself by moving around the sun. The movement of the earth around itself is called, from west to east is called rotation. See, this is the west place, this is the east. Means, the earth is revolving like this itself. So, this movement is called rotation. So, earth is moving itself from east, west to east. West is the east side, here and there the earth, so rotate from side itself. So, that time we call, this movement we call rotation. What is rotation? The movement of earth itself from west to east is called rotation. For this rotation, it will take 24 hours. For rotation, how many times it will take? It will take 24 hours. 24 hours means one day. In one day, how many hours are there? In one day, there is 24 hours now. So, if you take 24 hours means it equals to one day. If you complete 24, if you complete one rotation in 24 hours. So, the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution. So, what is rotation means? Earth itself again revolves of the east in the west again, west in the east again revolves of the earth. Other than our rotation of the country. Now we are going to learn what is revolution. Revolution means the movement of the movement of earth. Water. About 74% of the surface of Earth is covered.
planet. Why? So only on the earth the living things can exist. Because there is a air and water put on the earth. So it is called living planet. So earth's surface is covered by 70% of water. Under such children, under such children, the earth is covered by 30% of water and 31% of land. Land means mountains, valleys, plains. So the earth is covered by 31% of land and 72% of water. So we, today we finish our first lesson. Thank you, children.